I feel like every time a new anime is released, we're hearing something about the English dub being altered. We have to scour the internet for information about the translations just to make sure we are not supporting censored products. We see terms being changed, whole scenes being edited, and it has happened with another recently released very popular anime on Netflix. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this article. It says Netflix bastard anime English dub showing discrepancies. I've heard quite a bit about this anime. I've seen it on social media, people talking about it. I looked up the reviews for it and they seem pretty good, but unfortunately, of course, there were changes to the English dub. An individual watching Netflix's bastard anime learned that the English dub has taken liberties with the source material, expunging the mention of young girls whilst pushing the feminist narrative, a turn of events that will hardly prove surprising at this point. And this isn't the first time that Netflix has done something like this. It says the left screenshot is from the Japanese subtitled version of the fourth episode, whilst the right screenshot is the equivalent line from the English dub. It says one moment had a male using the word komosume, which refers to a young girl, yet this distinction was omitted from the English dub. Another instance had a female character's dialogue changed, saying she will bite the tongue of her captor, rather than implying she will bite her own tongue to kill herself, no doubt to push the feminist narrative of women being helpless is bad. Again, I had heard quite a lot about this through social media. A lot of people have been talking about this anime and talking about how it's actually pretty good. So I didn't expect to see a situation like this happen. I thought that it was going to be, you know, censorship free. They weren't going to change or alter anything because it has been out for a little while now. Unfortunately, though, that isn't the case, as you can see. It says um, one of the character's personalities was toned down by removing his usage of baka or idiot and the phrase ladies first was also expunged of course we're seeing um gendered terms being removed yet again i've talked a lot about that happening in video games lately but it's also creeping into anime now unfortunately terms like ladies first aren't okay terms anymore we see um this change where companies don't want to use gender terms anymore, especially things like ladies first. Okay, they just want neutral terms, which is absurd. And the removal of the word idiot is also very, very foolish. I mean, this is very clearly an anime for adults. There is no way that this could ever be marketed towards younger audiences. So why remove things? like the word baka. It just doesn't make sense. If you hadn't heard about the series before, it is a heavy metal dark fantasy series. It's actually something that's right up my alley and I was going to start watching it soon, but I'm going to wait. I'm very disappointed to hear that they ended up censoring this, that they ended up altering a lot of dialogue, and all of these small instances of word changes do add up and in my opinion, it does affect how I view this content. I know there's a lot of people out there who say, oh, it's just a few words change. It's not that big of a deal. It is that big of a deal because when you give these companies an inch, they'll take a mile. While right now it might just be small word changes and slight scene changes, eventually we're going to get to the point where an anime like this wouldn't even be created because of the themes that it has. 
even more examples from the first and third episodes were shown with a word that roughly translates to wuss instead being swapped to the weaker and less offensive scaredy cat while a female directed insult is also purged i don't think that it's that bad to have female directed insults and terms like wuss i really don't think that they're that offensive clearly it's just part of the content that we're watching but this isn't the first time that netflix has done something like this Look at Tiger and Bunny 2. I did talk about this in another video, but it says Tiger and Bunny 2 English dub changes dialogue to I might be a feminist. At this point, I really don't trust English dubs. I know a lot of people have not over the years. I've definitely gotten a lot more skeptical of them over time because I talk about so many situations like this, but it's very disappointing to see this happen time and time again. I, as an adult, just want to consume the content that I want to consume. I shouldn't be told, oh, you just can't handle this term and that term. And while we removed um, gender terms for specific audiences, for modern audiences, those people are not showing up to watch these series. So there is absolutely no point to edit the content you're releasing. Now look at companies that control Western anime. Now that Sony owns Funimation and Crunchyroll, they've got a bit of a Western monopoly. I have talked about that in other videos, but it is important to bring up. Then you've got Netflix, who is unfortunately censoring dubs like this too, and you've got other services like High Dive, which are larger, but they're not as big as Funimation, Crunchyroll, or Netflix. High Dive is my favorite, though. They have got great exclusives and don't censor content, and I do support them. Usually, I watch subs and not dubs, but we still shouldn't have to worry about one being censored at all on any service. You should be able to watch an English dub and not think about what's been changed in it. This was another situation from back in January. It says Crunchyroll, infamous for disrespecting both anime and games, whether it be through translations or outright censorship, has aired the censored version of the highly nude Shimatsu no Harem, certain to have some wondering if this was their choice or the only version given to them. And then, of course, we never got a confirmation. We never heard anything else about the situation. All we knew is that they were releasing the highly censored version version of this. We can all obviously hope that as time goes on and with more pushback, these companies will change their ways, but I highly doubt it. It's why I like to make videos like this, though, so that we can share them around, so that we can get more people uh, talking about situations like this, and maybe companies will end up listening to us. They've gone full force into wiping specific content from anime, thinking it'll make their shows appeal to soft snowflakes on social media, yet those people almost never show up to consume this content, and it's us that show up to watch it and that is why i find it so important to talk about situations like this because one day these companies are going to realize the new audience that they want this content to appeal to isn't showing up to watch it and people like you and me are not going to show up to watch it either because of how toned down it is but that's all that i really had to discuss in this video let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video and found it important and informative please Please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.